Hey, what's up guys? Today we're unboxing Satisfaction 75 from Illum KB. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I assume it's pronounced like Illumination as that is how it's spelled. But uh, yeah, so not only are we unboxing one, but we have two to unbox today that I purchased. So let's take a quick look over here at the product page. While we're looking at this product page, be sure to hit that like and that subscribe so you can catch any of the future content that comes your way. Uh, I purchased two of the A- Satisfaction 75s, uh, as that was what was available when I placed my purchase. Um, I did a cloud white. I don't know why these are not coming up now. Maybe they're sold out, but I ordered a cloud white and a deep ocean blue i did order these uh from Illum kb because they started their extra sell about a week and a half before canon keys and i knew canon keys was gonna be really hard to get because there was gonna be a lot more people trying to get them so i didn't mind paying the extra shipping for the guarantee that i would get my satisfaction 75s um i ordered the win key plate for both of them with a 6.25 u space bar Kind of wish I'd have mixed it up, but I could always get another plate in the future. I ordered a black and a gold knob. So let's take a look at these boxes. I'm not exactly sure which one's which, so we're just going to open this one on my right here first. <laughs> Probably be millbaxing these two boards so that we have, you know, the opportunity to play around with them. I will at least millbax one of them. As soon as I get some Milmax sockets that I've ordered in. So this is the box I'm sure everyone has seen at this point. These were round two. Honestly, I'm not sure if there was any differences between round one and round two. As far as this box, I really like it though. It's got that old school uh, nautical theme kicking for it. You've got your compass rose there. And inside you get this oh wow what is this it's like a sock for your board i guess satisfaction round two qc by so you get a little card here that was not filled out so i'm hoping it was qc'd i'm guessing that uh the singapore vendor probably did it to go through and fill those out maybe a language thing so you've got this little sock here i'm assuming that's for your board to go in it would probably double as a mat as well so that's pretty neat that's the first time i've gotten one of those for mechanic keys board that i've ordered and i've ordered several of their boards this case is very similar to the standard Canon Keys case, aside from it having Satisfaction 75 on it and that steering wheel, that old school pirate ship wheel. And it's a little bit different material, but it's pretty much seems to be the same manufacturer. You've got a tag in here that's already labeled with what's on there. That is cool. So you don't have to make a tag for your case to remind you what it is. Obviously we are opening the cloud white now. So let's see what this board looks like as far as everything else PCB and stuff we'll look at that on the second one I just want to see what makes it a minus okay well they definitely put it in their tights come on so since it does have an alum key B or excuse me alum KB uh, wrapping on it here I'm going to assume that that was from the QC process. Um, so you can see the weight there has your treasure chest on the right, a sword in the middle, more of a like a rapier, and then the anchor on the left. Um, not seeing anything here right now that leads me to believe this is not a plus. Maybe a very very slight variation in the anode between the top and the bottom. That would be my guess as to what made it A minus. I don't see any marks or scratches or any kind of Mars or anything. Got to get the hang of using this new camera. Okay, well, it looks really dark on that camera. Apologize for that. We'll have to light that area better probably from behind. I did just set up this new camera last night. So it's kind of, I was waiting until I got to my new place to set it up. But since I already had it last night, I was like, eh, let me play with this new camera. So let's put this one aside for right now, as they're both going to have pretty much the same stuff with the exception of the knob. So let's take a look at 
the gold knob. It's really light gold, but uh, it's the A minus knob. I believe the gold knob was A minus. Yes. So the black was an A stock, but I did get an A minus on the gold. It is more of a almost rolled rose gold than it is what I would think of when I think of gold. So maybe that is why that classified as A minus. Get all of this paper out of the way. Sorry if that was very loud across the uh, can the microphone there. Okay, all right. So I'm just now noticing you got Cannon Keys Island, Knob Island, Screen Island, Switch Island. Secret Strait, Captain Kobe Island. That's pretty funny. So they've got on the map there. It's all uh, different themed Satisfaction 75 themed islands, I should say. Oh, look here on the back. You've got a cut out boat you can make. Don't think I will be demolishing my boxes to make a cardboard boat but if someone does please shoot me a link I would like to see it or if someone has someone please post wow that tape did not want to cut <laughs> if someone would please post a link to that cardboard boat I would like to see it that would be pretty funny I think let's get this out of here Um, so I don't think I discussed what this cost. So for both of the boards, it cost me $1,674.38. That's in Singapore dollars. Uh, at the current um, conversion rate to US dollars, that's 1,228 US dollars. Um, east of, excuse me, each of the kits were $758. The knobs were $4 for the A minus gold, $9 for the A stock black, and the plate options were a $1 charge. And that is in Singapore dollars, not in US dollars. Sorry, I didn't convert everything on there. Um, if you're interested, Google will help you out. Just SGD to USD conversion. Let's pull this out. Let's pull the knob out. And let's get this box out of the way for the moment. So, same case that we looked at just before. Find the... There we go. Satisfaction 75. Let's pull out everything that we got here and take a look at what you get in these kits um, obviously the rotary encoder and the uh, excuse me the rotary encoder and the OLED were in the main box I didn't pull those out I think everybody is familiar with those you get your four little bump ons here you get a nice amount of o-rings that you will need for mounting the case together I assume these look a lot like the exact same o-rings that are in all of the brutalist series boards that i have built previously you've got your three screws your allen wrench it's like almost a guarantee you're gonna get an allen wrench with every board that you buy so if you're gonna be in this hobby for a while expect your allen wrench collection to grow so let's see what we've got here looks like the plate if i can get to it there we go so it is the brass plate for the Satisfaction 75. I need to look into trying to find some palm plates, maybe some other plate options. I do believe you can get an FR4 from uh, Hype Keyboards. So if you're not familiar with them, if you're ever looking for an FR4 plate, I would recommend checking out HypeKeyboards.com. Here is the PCB. Let's pull that out. Of course, I did go with a soldered PCB. I do believe there was a hot swap option. Or I could be could be re remembering wrong. There may not have been a hot swap option. Uh, yeah, so I don't see there being a hot swap option. Um, I'll definitely be looking for some more plates. I would like to get a 7U plate. Uh, so Satisfaction 75, you've actually got a spot here for a battery. I'm assuming that's for storing any... Um, memory that you put on there say you put animations on the OLEDs and whatnot 
So I'll need to find out what size battery I need and get a couple of those. You've got an on off switch here. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. I'll have to do some research on that. This was designed by Upaz for Canon keys. Updated September 2020 and created December 2018. I didn't realize that the satisfaction had been around that long. So this is your PCB. You got your rotary encoders gonna go here. Your OLED's gonna go here. I do have some linear encoders. I don't believe this came with a linear encoder, but I will be putting linear encoders in mine as I just I like that smooth rotation a little better personally. So we've got our microfiber to second. Come on, this one is gonna be the cloud blue. Oh, I ripped the tissue paper. <laughs> right, it's going straight into the trash can. Or excuse me, not cloud blue. Why do I keep saying cloud blue? Deep ocean blue. The other was cloud white. That is not marks there. That's just from my fingers. So, uh, oh, I really do like this blue, though. That's This will probably be the one I use more often. Um, I'm trying to think what blue boards I have that I've used a lot. Aside from the Mode 65, which is more of a blue-gray, it's not just the blue, I have the blue-gray options. Got that same weight that was on the other one, which I am going to be seeing knee-deep pretty soon, so maybe I'll uh, take these weights to him and have a little work done to them if it's not too expensive. Might be nice to have a little uniqueness to my SAT 75. Um, this case, just like the last one, like color matching is just barely off i imagine that that's what's making it a minus like like really it's like not noticeable unless you are really really nitpicking um i don't see any marks any scratches all in all i would say i'm very pleased with these two boards i'm looking forward to building them um like i said as soon as i get some milmax sockets in uh hopefully it doesn't take too long i ordered a thousand milmax sockets for a few boards that i want to do hopefully it does not take a ridiculous amount of time the place that i order them from is usually pretty quick about that what do we have here um I'm not sure what these little, there's a little foam metallic covered thing there, and there is some little plastic standoffs. I will definitely have to look at the build guide. I haven't watched a complete build. Every every streamer I've seen that's building them, I don't seem to get there at the beginning. I seem to get there just like at the end of the build, so uh, this is going to be a fun build, I think. I, I enjoy things that have all that little extra stuff. And then here is the black knob, which actually I will probably use the black with the white case. I don't know. I've got time to figure it out. I do like the black knob better, though. I probably should have ordered two of those, but I did want to get a little variety in color. Um, guys, that's about it for the unboxing of these two SAT 75s, or as my friend has been telling me, a loud brother my sat 150 um, <laughs> thanks for bearing with me i know this was a longer one than normal but we did have two boards and a lot of things to look at um thanks so much for hanging out guys hope you had a great time watching this video and i hope to see you at the next one and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day thanks for hanging out bye